could just hold on and you can see me. Think you could show up here with no fucking I, I, I fell down on a case of living, bro. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is Wait. The, the moment of truth. What's here. Ligma? <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome back to Keep It Over. Yeah, raps. welcome to Keep It Over Raps. Um, my name, well, welcome to Keep It Over. Well, we already said that. My name's Julian. <laughs> Yo, where you at, bro? My fault. I'm, Yo, it's been a long day. Julian actually did crack um, a few days ago, and he's still recovering. Correct. Brain's still recovering. In a long day. Uh, so what we're reviewing today, it's a, a concept. <laughs> Don't call this shit a concept album, bro. No, no, no. It's a, it's a concept um, the other three men at this table are very familiar with. Uh, it's called Scaring the Hoes. All right, so a little introduction on JPEG Mafia <laughs> and Danny Brown. JPEG Mafia. Big day for guys named Yohansei. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, no, for real, he's like two of your favorite artists, right? Yeah, no, it is a big day for, uh... JPEG Mafia is a rapper out of Baltimore, Maryland. Um, he, his debut album came back in 2016 with Black Ben Carson, and he's mm. released a couple of different more. Veteran was really the one that broke him out, but he's had All My Hairs Are Carmen Balls and LP. <clears throat> and then Danny Brown is a rapper out of Detroit. Um, I mean, he's been around for a while, but really the yeah. first project that broke him out was Triple X, which was back in 2011. Which is an amazing project. Um, if you haven't checked it out, definitely go check it out. Yeah, so they've come together to make a collab album. Unfortunately. Entitled. So you want to start it off? You want to? Hey, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, just just start. Give just, us your perspective. Give us the bad news first, and first then we can. Yo, yeah. all right. Fuck with me real quick, right? I need to download this shit. So let me go back. <laughs> Lean beef patty is horrible. Um, scaring the hoes is horrible. Ayo. Garbage pill kids is horrible. No. Fentanyl tester is horrible. Yeah, you do. You do lots of drugs. <laughs> you probably do fentanyl. You are the fentanyl tester, for like real. That, that song's like, about you. Um, like there, it, it was weird, bro. Like there were songs that I actually was like, damn, okay, this isn't bad. And then there were songs that like I wanted to be good, but I just could not enjoy. Like what? Like, um, How you feel about Shut Your Bitch Ass Up? I actually really like that song. I told Julian that was one of my favorites off the album. That's a bad but like the title song is horrible, bro. That's just not true. That shit is hard. That shit Jack Carlo Combo Meal? I know you like that shit, don't you? That shit bang. That's your idol in the title, bro. When idols become rivals. I'm beyond I'll tell you what songs are like. <laughs> this is it, too. Like, Step a Pig. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. Kingdom Hearts Key, sorry. Um, God loves you, and then heaven on earth. That's it. So everything else on here was a doo doo. You really thought Garbage Pail Kids was a bad song? That was a bad song. To be fair, I'm not gonna lie, I, I skipped that one too. I don't like the I don't like the guitars that come in on the hook. Like, they're like, like, hey, bro, okay, chill out. Like, I, I will say this. I, I'll say this. The first ten songs, yeah, the first ten songs are all great except Garbage Pail Kids. That's the only song I never really like. Um, all of them were great. I love Lean Beef Patty. I think the single was mixed like way worse than in the single version yeah like denny brown's verse is like almost like unlistenable on the single version but it's a lot better mixed here um step a pig is dope the title track i think is hilariously self-referential i like actually mm -hmm. thought it was really funny mm -hmm. um spent on says perfect is hard as fuck such a bitch ass up hard orange Juice jones is cool kingdom hearts key dope i did not expect red veil to be on here me neither and if i'm being honest he had a picture with them he was like pictured with them before the album dropped Oh, I, I, see I, I must have not seen that. But he sounded like he was with JPEG. I don't know if he was with Danny Brown, but I know he uh, was with JPEG. I he sounded like Denzel Curry on to here on here to me at first. I thought it was Denzel rapping until I saw the feature and just thought it was. I could see how you could think that. Yeah, and God loves you. It was a good after, feature though. After that, the album fell off me. After God loves you. Yeah, because I did not like the last four songs. I like Heaven like, on Earth. I like Run the Jewels. I did not like right, Run the Jewels. That was is that, my is that the one that had like the drums start at the beginning or like the half point of the song? Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. <clears throat> it wasn't good until the drums came on, I'm gonna be honest. I'm telling you, like, I don't know. I, I feel like they got weirder <clears throat> as the album kept going. And like, I mean, that's fine. Like, they're like, that's just how, that's just how they make music. But I feel like at the end, they weren't really like, they were just like throwing sounds together and rapping over it, but it didn't really have like flow. Yeah. And a lot of the times I felt like the momentum kept getting broken up by all the like different switching. Like I, and, like I said, the first 10 songs, except Garbage Pail Kids, were all dope. You Absolutely. sleep, bro. And then it, it, it just felt like yeah. at certain points they were just throwing words together over the like weird ass beats. I don't even know how to describe the shit. Experimental. Yeah. I, I'm not gonna lie, the sampling on here was really cool. 
the it way was, they were using yeah. it was really creative. Um, um, for the songs that I did enjoy, I actually really enjoyed. Um, I won't lie, but I'm not lie. I'm surprised you liked a single song on here. It was just it was a rough listen, bro. Not gonna lie. If this was the one thing, all right, I can't just say the one thing because I, I haven't said shit about this, but. I think the beat switches were like excessive on this. Mm-hmm. Um, there were a lot, but I thought they were but not bad. I, no, I, you can't I say said, that because like, you fuck with the Forever Story, and that shit has like ten beat switches on it. Look, like I did make sure to put in my case when I wrote this point down, but it was probably because of how high energy this album was that I felt the beat switches on it were too excessive. Um, like I literally had to take a break because I was getting a headache, bro. But. Um, and that's not to, like, I'm not saying that because it's indicative of my final score for this. Um, this was a decent project. I, I think, like you said, one of y'all said the mixing was off, which it was yeah. terribly so for Danny Brown's game. Yeah, I'm not Generally right. speaking, I, could, I, I didn't even understand him, like, half of his verses. Yeah, yeah, Danny Brown, a lot of the time, his vocals were mixed too low on the beat. I will say he has some bars, yeah. though, bro. He was, like, acting like I know who he is, and I'm looking like, who are you? Like, who is that nigga? Like, that is really? Right. Snake in the grass is gonna shake that ass. Like we, like he sweat, I'm gonna make it last. Like, yo, no, that's hard. That's hard. That's hard, bro. That's hard. Yo, that's hard. Get off me, bro. Yo, no, that's, that's hard, bro. Hey, I can't cap, bro. Danny Brown got bars. Between the two, Danny Brown is the better rapper. But generally speaking, throughout this whole entire project, I like Peggy way more. Yeah. And I think that if there were less B switches and this was an individual project of JPEG Mafia's, this would probably be like. I mean, depending on what he chooses to say on every song, of course. Cause yeah, I feel like, I feel like he definitely, at least lyrically, I could tell he approached it somewhat differently. Cause it is a collab album. Um, yeah, that's true. But he's not being as like political or like. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I get you. He's not on his black man hearts and stuff. But uh, you know, I still think they all they both did their thing. Like I said, the only skip for me is Run the Jewels. I will say, I thought about this how I thought about her loss. This feels like a JPEG Mafia album featuring Danny Brown. This doesn't feel yeah. like a fully collaborative project. And that is something, even though I like the project, that is something that sadly disappointed me because I wanted this to be more 50-50 than it was. I think it, I think that's valid, though, because like, I feel like this is what fans of theirs have been wanting from them for a while. This was like... Years, Jeez. yeah, they've been they've been talking about this for a while. For some time. Yeah, I'm not a lot. I'm actually surprised it even came out. I thought it was gonna be one of those like they just talk about. Yeah, it like a Kendrick and Cole sort exactly. of deal. Exactly. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be like that. So I'm delighted that it came out, but um, I think my expectations were a little higher than what I got. Which I like I said, I don't dislike the album, but I feel like we shouldn't have had our expectations as high as we did because like I feel like both of them kind of make grungy sort of music. So they were kind of going to deliver a grungy sort of project. Uh, my expectations weren't even super high for it, to be honest. Low key, the only thing I did expect was that it would have more JPEG than Danny Brown on it. I don't know why. Like, he is a more just, like overpowering. Yeah, that just yeah. didn't surprise me to find that out at all. Yeah, Danny Brown got a voice. Because Danny, cause Danny, especially his last album, is a lot more like calm and like I mean I wouldn't even say it's traditional because it's definitely still a little out there mm-hmm. but it's nowhere near as aggressive or like experimental as like Atrocity Exhibition or anything like that like um, but what you know about Burfitt though like Burfitt I really love Burfitt bro because let me tell you like the trumpets on that made me feel like when I felt what I felt on Sunday mornings watching NFL football bro and I could tell that was intentional, bro. I could tell that was intentional because for those of, for those of you that don't know, for those of our viewers that don't know, Burfitt is the last name of one terrible football player who used to give niggas a bunch of head injuries, bro. Like, he's the reason why a lot of niggas <laughs> are, like, turning to CG. Did you just make that up? I swear to God, there was a nigga named Vontez, Vontez, Vontez Burfitt. He played for the Cincinnati Bengals. And that nigga's not and real, nigga bro. Chopped. Like, you just made up a name. Nigga, I swear to God, lying, bro. bro. Like, I don't swear to God because that's a sin. But, like, if, I wouldn't be swearing to God if I wasn't G shit. His real name is... B-O-N-T-A-Z-E, Burfitt. Look him up. He, uh, he, this he like, really... So you like said, like, what? He molly walked, bro. bro. He so he's giving walked niggas head? This no, this no, no. This your twin, bro? That's not my twin, bro. That's who you no, fuck with? Oh, that's, that's Larry. That's your that's OG, bro. That's dead ass Larry. That's Larry. Bro, that's Larry. Larry bro, did that's not beat the head allegation. I'm so I'm so curious as to what you're gonna give this out of ten. 
It's, I don't like think it's going to be as high as y'all think it is, but I, I did really enjoy it. Um, I don't know, man. Like I said, like, I think I just really like music, listening to music. That just sounds like it has a lot going on. Like, that's just, like, my shit. Neurodivergent game. Like it or, or not, like, one thing you could say about pretty much every track on this album is they all have a lot going on. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So, like, I, I, that, that's what made me take a break, bro. It was high energy, high but, pace. To be fair, like I, I thought it was pretty well paced. Like it's, it was. How how long is it? It felt thirty five minutes. It's pretty fast. Yeah, it felt it felt pretty fast. It didn't feel longer than it was. I mean, I feel like everyone. I haven't really. I don't have any thoughts that like we haven't said already. Like everything's super high tempo. Uh, I like that red veil feature a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was good. Um, I don't know, man. Maybe it's just spitting. Maybe it's just spitting, and they scare hoes, bro. Me. Coz was definitely scared, Coz was bro. Definitely scared of it. I, bro, I'm not gonna lie. That cover is fire, though. Yeah, I was, I was about to say that too. The album fire. cover is very nice. Also, I'm not a hoe. also, I don't know how you guys don't like respect, Garfield, bro. Kids. I, that's that's a one bad. One. No, I like that. I like that. It's just, it's I mean, just, that was him. But you know, me, I'm an independent really like thinker of sorts. So you know, I, I okay, free thinker, free thinker. Yeah, for sure. No, that's that's the type of people I surround myself with. No, yeah, like first six, first seven tracks. First seven tracks, I really fucked with. I did not like Orange Juice Jones. I did not like Shut Your Bitch Ass Up like that. No, 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 no. I did no, like no. Muddy Waters, though. Nah, you I like always Muddy Waters, though. You always picking a great song and hate on it, dog. I mean... Get off the meat. Bro. Off of it. Yo, oh, spread, on spread you, real quick, bro. Off the steak. <laughs> Unclench for me? Yo. Just like... Loosen up? Like go. Ease up, bro. Expel some air. Untighten. Nah, we didn't say all that, bro. You already Flash did that, bro. All right, so... Out of 10... I'm gonna give this one an 8.4. I, I wouldn't say this is JPEG Mafia's or Danny Brown's best album. This would be their worst solo project. Both of them? Yeah. Maybe that. So, admittedly, I'm not like too versed on Danny Brown. Because uh, Veteran, All I've My Hands of Cornballs, and LP are all better than this, in my opinion. I agree with that. I agree with that. Actually, this might be better than Black Band Carson. It's close. That album I've only listened to like once or twice, and I don't I don't come back to anything off of it. So. Yeah. Okay. What's your top one? Um. So garbage pill kids. Bad take for sure. Uh, shut your bitch ass up. <laughs> 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 Kingdom Hearts key. I'm also gonna give it to a uh, fentanyl tester. Um, Bad take. Larry. Sorry. Why are you looking at me? Like I don't know. Why, I don't like, know why, do bro. I, do I don't like, know why. No, I was definitely calling him a fentanyl tester, but go ahead. All right, I'll give this album a 6.8 out of 10. Okay. That's, that's higher than I thought you that's, were going to give. That's pretty low. I, it's just like, I, like the songs that I really like, I really like. <laughs> <laughs> you see how, y'all see how I didn't flinch though? You stayed in the paint. You, you see, stayed you in, in the paint. Hey, Respect. How many times have you done that and I haven't flinched? Nah, twin, bro. Niggas having the Kobe off. like. <laughs> My top four are... Um, Give me the title track. Bad Scary take. That shit is hard, bro. Bad take. Give me bro. perfect. Good take. Uh, shut your bitch ass up. Good take. And Kingdom Hearts keys. Good take. Oh, Kingdom Hearts key. Yeah. All right, Larry. What say you? I feel like personally, niggas might be upset with me, but uh, I'm going to rate this album a six point six out of ten. Shut up. I was Nobody going to give this. Two, I'm about to say slurry. I was going to give this album a seven, but. The thing that knocks it down 0.4 points is really just the mixing. Like, and I know them niggas went on Twitter after this dropped and they were like, fuck what anybody got to say about the mixing. We really don't give a fuck. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not mine. Like, the G shit said that, bro. I believe them. But, yeah. but I give a fuck, you know? And, um, but, uh, yeah, my top four for this project would be. And I really do have three written down. Uh, it would be Steppa Pig. Mm-hmm. Not Peppa Pig, Steppa Pig. You want to be me so that. bad, bro? Perfect. Nigga, you wanted to be me. I wrote these shits before you bro. even said them shits, bro. nigga. Like, bro, like don't not, even look bro, at me, bro. Like, the sexual the tension like, between the two of you is just crazy. Kingdom Hearts key. And for my fourth, I guess I'll throw the whole song in. But I'm going to preface this by saying that I fuck with the second half more than the first. Bro. Bro. Shut your bitch ass up. Both of y'all niggas, really. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a five. You real juicy, bro. But go ahead. 
Uh, that was, that was now, nice to be now honest. Now I'm actually going to give it a full word. Uh, <laughs> um, I was about to say, that was nice. I mean, you know how I say we're lying, bro? No. be talking about he Aki like <laughs> Hang on, I got to do some math real quick. So I'm actually going to bump it down to a 3.5. You just got progressive um, 3.5? 3.6. Because this is a 3.6. This shit was ass. This is a 3.6. Like this was very bro, bad. But he don't like it. This is a 3.6. What'd you, don't what'd you, like what'd you give Come Home The Kids Miss You, bro? Like a 6? Nah, I definitely give it like... I don't even remember, to be honest. I think you give it like a 6. Probably. Which isn't great sale, but... So that can get a 6, but this gets a 3.5? To be, to be fair, bro, like, if you don't like an album's production, that's... It does, like, it really don't matter how the rap is spitting. Cause like it's gonna get it, hurt. Was, it's gonna it be was hard to the point where like there were songs I didn't like the production and I also could not hear Danny Brown rapping. Yeah, like his voice. That's, okay, his voice that's true. Really but thing. like I'm also allowed to make death threats, like a three point <laughs> five, bro. <laughs> like dude, that's crazy. Like for the songs that I like, I said I, I said this already, but for the songs that I do like, I actually do enjoy them. Um, like I was like, damn, like on on the end of Step of Pig when JPEG starts sliding, he's he's spitting, bro. Like it, it, it's good music, but. Garing the holes, bro. Garbage, garbage pill kids. I mean, well, I think part of what you got to factor into your score too is just how successfully huh? they they uh Julian you know reach their them. target. You know, are they trying to scare the hoes and successfully scaring the hoes? I think so. I feel so, you like know, they've been successfully scaring the hoes for years on end. Yep. And then Wait, so what are your tracks again? Step pig. Yeah. Perfect. Shut your bitch ass up in muddy waters. Kingdom Hearts key. All right, that's it. And then I also like God Loves You, but I like Heaven on Earth. I like Garbage Pail Kids. Did not. Yeah, that's a good song. Well, I didn't ask you if you asked. Heaven on so, Earth was also a good song. So, thank you for scaring the hoes alongside us. Yeah, I think this was this was very on brand. They they marketed this quite well. Um, what are you doing, though? Thank you for watching. Keep it over wraps. If you're interested in all the things rap, subscribe and share. Thank you for viewing the video. If you got this far, be sure to like and comment. Be sure to check out our other videos and stay tuned for more coming soon.